With second place on the line and finals just around the corner, it was a vital game for both the Park Spacemen and Ningen Tigers. The Tigers got the first points on the board with one of the most spectacular tries of the season. There was no stopping the mind of Mitch Rickson crossing over for a 10-0 lead. And before you knew it, the Tigers had three unanswered tries. It wasn't until the end of the first half when Jordan Pope danced his way over to post the first points for the Spacemen. They continued their comeback, scoring early in the second half to get within two points. Brent Howard crossed for his second try and opened the margin again. Spacemen fought back, but in the end, the Tigers were too good, running away with a further three tries in the final 15 minutes to secure a 36-22 victory. I think towards the end, the fitness-wise came down in the end. Um, kind of narrowed down in the middle and seen their big blokes a bit sloppy, so um, yeah, we got on top of them. I thought, uh, thought, thought we had them there at some stages during our game, but you know we just um, didn't hold the ball and didn't complete our sets, you know, so... That's what put us on the back foot and uh, they they capitalise on that. Tigers now need to win one of their remaining two matches against the Dubbo Sims and Dubbo Westside to secure a second on the ladder. This weekend's match against the Sims will not be easy, saying they need to focus on defence and discipline coming out of their own end. Which will be a um, very tough game, top of the table, so... Um, we really test ourselves against them bikes. For other matches in round 12, Forbes Magpies and the Dubbo Macquarie Raiders won, while the Dubbo Sims posted 104 points over the Wellington Cowboys. Brian Vanderwacker, Win News.